What up, everyone? We've got Power Up Box here. Now, I must say, I've, I'm always excited to receive this box. Uh, not because it's particularly amazing or anything like that, but I've just come to, to appreciate the bigger boxes. I personally like paying more money to get more in my box. A little bit more money, that is. So it's always more exciting to get a big box because there's, there's that many more chances to be excited or be amused or be happy about stuff. When you get the smaller boxes, they may be good, but if you only get like two or three things, it's like, it's not that they're bad, it's just like, it's just not as exciting. But when you get like five, six, sometimes like eight, nine, ten things, it's like, whoa, you get so much more stuff. So, I've been excited to see Power Up Box show up lately. And this time around, I was pretty pleasantly surprised. So, let's take a look at this box and see what we got. So, first off, start this we got a little doors rocket raccoon and who doesn't love rocket now I'm gonna share something with you something I've learned recently and something that I've kind of lived by which I think other people should too not just about boxes or purchasing boxes but just about purchasing in general so um, if you've watched my videos before you'll notice that whenever Funko stuff shows up I'm usually not too thrilled about it and it's not because I don't like Funko. I love Funko. They put out great products. I have a bunch behind me. Uh, the Pops are great. Mystery Minis are great. The, Hikar the Hikari are awesome too. Like, they really put out some awesome stuff. The reason I'm usually not that excited when Funko stuff shows up is merely because it's just so generic. It's so easy to get. And uh, when they put a pop in there, the chances that are that you probably already have it if you like that character because Pops have been around so long and these boxes are recent. Now, the good news about Funko is recently they've started making all new series. Like I mentioned the Hikari before, now they have Dorbs, they're going to have the Vinyl Sugar series coming out, new series of Mystery Minis, now they have all kinds of exclusive pops. So there's more stuff out there, which is good because Funko's never going to stop being in boxes. It's always the easiest option for these boxes. If they want something easy, they throw in some Funko. That's just how it is. That's how it's always going to be. So knowing that, um, when I saw the Dorb series come out, I, I, I thought they were great. Um, some people don't like them. I personally really like them. I like these better than the Pop figures. Like, I think they're awesome. And the whole Guardians of the Galaxy series, I legitimately want every single one. I think they're so cool. But I took a minute to back and thought about it, and here's what I have to share, and here's what I do. So when I saw the Dorbs come out, I purposely didn't buy any of them on purpose because I knew that they were going to start showing up in boxes. They were going to be popular at first and sell out, but after that wave passes on, they're going to start showing up in boxes like crazy. And I wasn't wrong at all. They showed up in like three boxes that in this month that are coming up later that I'm doing reviews up. So I'm very glad that I held back and didn't buy them because they're really not hard to get. They're about the same as Funko Pop figures, and there aren't that many out there. So if I were to buy the characters I like, chances are I would get duplicates. So I purposely didn't buy any Dorbs unless they were exclusive. I obviously got the Ultron. I don't know if you can see back here. I also got the exclusive Rocket Raccoon. So I bought that one. And now I got the regular Rocket Raccoon. So I would highly recommend um, certain series like this, unless you're purposely going to collect the entire series and not miss one, to not, not go out of your way to get them. Because it's always such a bummer when you bid on something on eBay or you take a trip to the store and purposely buy something and then it shows up in a box the next day. It's such a bummer because that's a total waste. So for generic stuff like this, I would highly recommend not getting them. And that's also the same thing I've done with pop figures. I had purchased some before, but I've kind of stopped buying them unless they're exclusive because if they're a popular character, they're probably going to show up in a box. Same with these. Like, Rocket's such a popular character, he's going to show up. I wouldn't be surprised if Groot does. I'm sure Batman will. And Deadpool, if they, when he comes out, I'm sure they will. Some of the secondary characters you might collect, but give, give it a chance to come in the boxes and then go out and collect them. So that's, that's just my advice to everyone. That's what I'm doing. And I'm happy I did do that because I almost bought it and I would have been bummed because it's a waste of money. Anyway, that was a whole long story and a tangent. Uh, the point of the story is, I'm very happy to see this, and I like this. I thought this was a good choice, and that was great. Next, to go with our Rocket Raccoon, we got a Scaler. And this is the Potted Groot Scaler. So these, um, they were originally intended to go on your car antenna, 
but that's what they were invented for, but uh, cars have advanced and many of them don't have antenna anymore. So these are just now for anything, like for your hanging wires, for your USB cables, for any kind of cable, and they hang off them. I've seen them around, they're always cool, never picked any up because, same thing, they're so common, like they're not hard to find, so I just never had motivation to get them. But we got a nice little potted group to match our Rocky Raccoon. I think that's great. I, again, I purposely didn't collect these because I get so many boxes. I leave the common stuff to come to me. Good choices for me. So, I really like that. I've never gotten one of these, but I definitely like them. The quality is nice. Um, it's not perfect. It's not immaculate or anything, but they definitely have decent sculpt, decent paint job, and it's practical. That's something you can use uh, or put out in your everyday life. You don't have to have shelf space, you can hang it off cables or something, which is kind of nice to have put something different. So, Potted Group, I thought that was a good choice as well. Next, we got Bean Boozled. So, I was actually really excited to get these because I've seen so many YouTube channels doing the Bean Boozled Challenge lately, and honestly, I think they're really funny. Like, I, I've watched a bunch of them, and I was thinking about doing it on my channel as well because I just think it's really funny. I was trying to come up with a clever way to relate it to boxes somehow I can incorporate it but I think that Bean Boozle Challenge is really funny and I was gonna I was gonna buy some of these because I'm having a birthday party coming up and I was gonna have these out there so I was pretty excited to see these in there it's a funny little joke and it's it's an interesting item so it's candy but it's also like a fun practical joke at the same time so again I thought that was an interesting choice it's more specific to me obviously I wanted those but either way I think it's funny to play a prank on someone to have those Alrighty, next we got t-shirts. So we got two t-shirts this time around, and I'll show them both. So the first one, oh sorry, folded it all up. So it's the Monopoly guy, and he's saying make it rain, he's throwing up some of that paper Monopoly money. So I thought that was very funny, and yeah, I thought it was a funny shirt, and it seems very nice. And then I'll show the second one, and then I'll talk about them, because they're related to each other. I don't know how well you can see this one. This one says I want to be a billionaire and the same thing, the Monopoly guy. So, normally I'm not a big fan of the double t-shirt thing because normally I really don't like t-shirts in the boxes because again, normally most of them suck because they they print them themselves, they design them themselves and let's face it, these boxes aren't t-shirt companies. They don't know what they're doing that well. They definitely make them, but a lot of them are low quality. They're printed on um, crappy shirts and things like that and it just doesn't come across awesome sorry throat's, throat's getting dry anyway so yeah they're usually really cra crappy quality but this one was a little more acceptable because these are all branded these weren't printed themselves these are actual shirts that they were um, purchased and I'm assuming purchased the rights to to some extent and then put them in there so that's something I've noticed about Power Up Box they always put branded shirts in there they're never making them themselves, and which is kind of nice actually. Normally I would say that it's like interesting to all the different t-shirts, but I'm so sick of mashup t-shirts. I'm so sick of them. And I'm sick of like the poor quality shirts that don't fit, that are rough and like heavy cotton. Like I'm just tired of them. We get so many of them and the mashups are awkward and they look stupid and stuff like that. So it's a nice breath of fresh air to get printed, branded quality shirts, which Power Box always does. So it's nice to know they're not skimping on quality. Now, um, the fact that we got two Monopoly shirts, I'm not thrilled about. Um, if they were going to put two in, it would be nice if they did like two different styles. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, but it just seems odd, if anything else. I, if they're putting two shirts, you would think there would be a reason for it. it just, it's very strange that there's two Monopoly shirts specifically. Not that they're bad, I think they're both funny. I really like this white one. I think this is rather funny. And it's very soft. It's, you can tell this is like professional quality printed design shirt, which I appreciate. So this seems like it'll fit well. This is nice soft quality. And the same with the brown one. It's good quality. So even though it's not my favorite design ever, at least I can wear it. At least I'm not going to break out in hives or a rash because the cotton polyester blend is rubbing against my nips. So at least it's good enough quality to wear out. So the, if you like the design, it depends on the individual person whether you like Monopoly or not. But I think both of them have a joke. They're both funny. They're not a crossover. They're branded. They fit well. So I think it was okay. Again, I still wouldn't recommend a double t-shirt box ever. So I'm not thrilled about it. 
but I'm accepting it. It was okay. I think it was okay to do it because they're branded shirts. They didn't make them themselves. So it's like an okay type of thing. Anyway, enough about that. Next, we got a comic book. Groot number one. And we always love it when we get number one comics. Um, this wasn't an exclusive or anything. <coughs> Sorry, this wasn't an exclusive cover, so not an exclusive comic or anything, so nothing super special about it, but at least it's number one. I always like it when they put number ones, and I kind of hate it when they don't, because it's pointless when they put a random issue in there, because you're not going to start reading a comic from the middle of the series, so if they're ever putting a comic, I say number one or nothing. It's better not to put it if you're not doing a number one. So that's cool. Groot's a, Groot is a cool character, so I appreciate that. The last item, we got a little pamphlet here for. Let me grab the last item. The last item is soda. So they're, they're different brands, not different brands, but they have different characters, but it's basically zombie, yeah, zombie premium soda. This one is Orange Roamer says Death World, and they just have different characters on the front, they have different flavors of soda. So let's, let's try this bitch out. My fucker. Oh, these things are hard to open. Okay, hold up. Tearing my hand off. There we go. And I popped it in the fridge so I don't have to drink warm ass soda, because who knows how long this sat in the sun when this was being shipped here. But anyway, here we go. Tastes good. That's different. It's an interesting flavor. Tastes like orange soda. A little bit of a different blend. That's cool. That's good. I think it's cool and interesting to get a different type of item in there. Soda, something we've never seen before. That's cool. So that was the last item. Uh, let's go back through the box and talk about some value. Alright, time for some value on this box. So, the shirts. We got two of them, so I'll still give this my standard 15, or sorry, 12 to 15 dollar range. These are branded, so they're definitely going to be worth more than the shirts they print themselves. <coughs> but even still, shirts like this, depending on where you got them, I could see these at Target, and they sell them for around $12.99. Places, if you were to get them somewhere at like Hot Topic or something like that, they'd be $20, but so it still gets that standard range of 12 to 15 dollars. Sorry. So the shirts still get the standard range of $12 to $15, uh, regardless of that, because I try to rate them all around the same. But these are very nice quality, though. I did like them. I thought the designs were funny. So, yeah, I thought that works. The Dorbs, these are right around $10, uh, depending on where you buy them from. Uh, some people have seen them as low as, like, 8 or 9 or something like that, depending, but right around $10. If you go on eBay, they sell them for much more than $10, usually around $12, but a general area of $10 for the doors, but I thought that was a nice choice. The scalers, these are about five or six. Um, not hard at all to find, very common. Any comic book store would have them. Also like Target has them, Walmart has them, Kmart has them, so they're very common items to find, but they're around five or six dollars. Next, the soda. So it's a very interesting item. I kind of like seeing new stuff like this. It's just filler, so it doesn't really matter, but it's cool that they, they do something different. I think it's always a good idea to do that with filler, because if you put something in that everyone hates, it's not a big deal because it's just filler. But it's something that everyone can enjoy. Everyone likes some soda, had a cool character on it, like, no big deal. But uh, as far as value on this, two, three dollars like max. I wouldn't see this going for really much more than a regular soda. These specialty ones are always a little bit more when you buy them in candy stores. But I think two to three dollars is reasonable. I I would not pay more than that personally for a random soda. But it's good. All right, the beans. So these actually go for a decent amount. Um, it's because not only, like I said, is it a candy, but it's also kind of a practical joke. So these go for like four to five dollars. I've never personally seen these in a store. I'm sure some candy stores carry them. I haven't seen them myself. But you see them online all the time. People charge a lot more online. They want like eight or nine dollars for a lot of them, depending on the size of the pack. But four or five dollars is reasonable, and I think this will be fun to put at a party or play a prank on someone, so or whatever you want to use them for. So I thought that was cool. Next, we got our. Where is it? 
our comic. So no argument here, $4 is the standard comic price. Um, when that price went up to $4, I don't know, but that's the price of comics now, $3.99, says it on there. Really no argument there. So, with that being said, the value on the low end was $49, and on the high end was $58. So this box is, is going to give you close to $60 in value, or usually around that. So this one's between $50 and $60, which is reasonable. Now this one, um, this is the hard thing this box deals with. It's the most expensive box out there. It's $40. It's, it's very expensive. Like, there's no way around it. So the bad news is you're just, you're never going to get double your value. You never are going to get that. But you still get good value. You get like 50% more than you paid for, which is decent. Now, I, I also must say, like, like I said before, I very much like this box because it's bigger. You get so much more stuff. You get so much more variety. And personally, I thought they had good choices. So hopefully you were like me and didn't go out and buy every single Dorbs the day they came out because you're going to be shit out of luck because I promise you they're going to be showing up in so many boxes. that I, they're, Like I said, this month I think we have at least two or three so things like this, common stuff, don't buy it the day it comes out, give it time, let them come in boxes, unless they're exclusive. So hopefully other people realize that too, and if you did, you were happy to see this, because it's a great character and it's a great little figure, I like that. And the same with the Groot figure. So I think they had good choices. So I see them making small steps forward. In my personal opinion, each box has been better and better. Not huge leaps and bounds better, but small little tiny steps better and better. I personally really like this box now. I wasn't going to keep it around before, but now I think I'll keep it around for at least a little bit longer. It's still very expensive, but, you know, like, it's in that gray area. It's it's very expensive, but you get a lot of stuff. Anyway, um, with that rating and with that value, I'm going to give this box a rating of 6.75. Because you don't get tremendous value. You don't get, like, you got good stuff in here, but... They weren't crazy hard to find. They were pretty common things. You still got a number one, but you do get quality. At least they're giving quality. It's not cheap stuff they're making themselves. It's not crap that they plaster their logo all over. They did that once and they never did it again, which I appreciate. So it's not stuff they're putting logos and stuff all over. It's things for the general population I think most people would like. It's not specific themes that are really weird. It's just general. So I think they're pretty good at it. And you get a lot of items, so it's always exciting to get this box because it's the biggest one. You get so much excitement out of it. So I think 6.75 is reasonable because, again, not tremendous value. And you do have to spend a lot to get it. But let me know what you guys think of the rating. Let me know what you guys thought of the items. Did you collect all the doors? Did you get a duplicate? Uh, let me know what you think of my advice about that. Anyway, this has been Power Up Box 6.75. Talk to you all later. Love you all. Peace.